Hey gamers, this is Kita. Today I'm going to tell you about Elemental Arrow Bottle Adventure. I don't have a script so this is going to be sloppy. As usual. Anyway, before we weren't able to put bottles over the Elemental Arrows. We were able to do bottles over everything except this. And when you catch hot spring water in a duped bottle, you get to do Bottle Adventure. This video is not going to cover what Bottle Adventure is since there's plenty of other videos on that, we're just going to show what it does. Yeah, Alright, let's just do this. Alright, so let's cover Light Arrow. First, we'll do some setup. Consider this uh, foreshadowing. So I'll talk to this kid and start his minigame. And let's just go to Mountain Village. And do our BA. Alright, so to do Light Arrow BA, you're going to need this entire column to be empty. That way when you go up left, you'll land on the Light Arrow. So simply put your cursor on one of these bottles, go to the map screen, and then go back to the item screen. On this frame, you're going to hold up left and then equip your Light Arrow to a C button. Just like that. And now we can do BA. So what happened? first thing is that the Jinx timer is set to 6,000, so you're Jinx for 6,000 frames. You can't use your sword. Wow. Anyway, the only other interesting thing is this stuff right here. The number of bombers caught is going to be 23, which is normally impossible, and the first bomber that you caught is the 112th bomber, quote-unquote which doesn't actually exist. I didn't mean to do that. One sec. Let me scroll back up. Alright. So let's see how this affected our game. So I'm just gonna catch a bomber. Wait, okay, that was cool. And we're locked. Kinda, time still moves. Still stuck again. And we escaped. So our caught number is 24, just incremented like by one. Well, what happens if we catch the first bomber? Crash. A hard crash. All right, let's go over Ice Arrow BA. So a little setup again. Some foreshadowing. So at this time it's not it's obvious what I'm going for. Nothing too crazy. Alright. You like that? Oh man. Okay, let's get right into it. So with light air OBA or ice air OBA, you're gonna need these two columns empty. So that way you can just move your cursor there with up left. The trick works exactly the same way as light arrow. Put the cursor on bottle, and then... There you go. Nice. Anyway, once you catch it, the first thing you should notice is that the C buttons disappear. And I can't use any of them. It's not just visual. That'll go back to normal once I leave the area. 
Now, the reason I brought Epona here is because I'm in minigame mode, which is separate from the C buttons being disabled, but that'll prevent my bow, once it's on beat, from getting set back when I get off Epona, which is pretty cool. I have bow on B legitimately. However, that's only for this area. You're not in minigame mode once you leave. So, let's leave. So, those effects wore off. I have my C buttons back, I got my sword back. Ocarina sounds like Deku Trumpets. That's part of it. Let's go to Southern Swamp. Um, I already beat Woodfall, so the swamp's purified. Which means we get to look at this nice quirk. So, if you can see, Koyum is uh, actually flying around, and I have infinite arrows, which is pretty neat. So she's just going through the whole mini game, just like normal. And if we were to play the mini game, um, it wouldn't work. Or, I mean, you can't win. Like, it's actually impossible to win the minigame like this. So, yeah. Alright, let's wrap this up with Fire Arrow BA. And where we're going, we don't need preparation. Anyway, as you would expect, can't have anything in these three columns, and the trick works the exact same way. It's just a little more restricted if you want to pick it up bottle on there. Restricted in terms of inventory, I mean. Alright, so, let's see. What happens? Nothing interesting. Well, one interesting thing. Let's go to Woodfall, which I already beat. As you can see, it's purified. And... silently make our way over. Nice! Suspense building. Oh, hey, Epona, what's up? So, yeah. Um, the astute viewer might have noticed that these four values changed. It sets the stored opponent scene to zero and her XYZ to be 006000, which will always put her right here. So, purified swamp being the, um, very first scene the list, which is zero. Um, only important thing is that I had to come from that exit, or this one, because if I go through a transition plane then opponent would have unloaded, and then we wouldn't have seen this. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See ya!